Hey, it's Emirando101, and today I have another Japanese manga haul. Yeah, we have a little bit of a theme going on this time around. To start things off, I have Girls Last Tour, volumes 1 to 6. This is basically the complete series. I really fell in love with the series back in like 2017 when the anime aired for it, and it was by far my favorite anime from 2017, so. Yeah, um, the manga is also great. I can't go wrong. This is a post-apocalyptic kind of cute girls doing cute things type of series. Not really because it's post-apocalyptic. <laughs> it's actually pretty sad, um, but at the same time hopeful, you know, and calming. We just have these two characters wandering around in the remains of what once was a uh, gigantic, you know, society that was filled with people and, like, living stuff. And, um, yeah, now it's- everything is gone. It's like these two characters are navigating and, like, the- the memories that are left behind in this really, like, desolate, uh, depressing world that they're basically stuck in. Um, it has this really unique kind of, like, puffy- bubbly art style, I'm not sure, but it's quite appealing. Every once in a while, maybe they come across another human, but it's not exactly um, the norm. And yeah, it's a cute series that kind of asks a lot of questions like, what is life? What is death? Uh, it's really cute. And I highly recommend it. And um, this is the new series created by the same author. This one isn't post-apocalyptic, at least I don't think it is. The author is uh, Tsuku Mizu, by the way. And this is just another kind of cute girl doing cute things type of thing, kind of, not really. Um, it's super uh, surreal and like, it just kind of gets really wacky and weird. At the same time, it just is like a school. Uh, high School Slice of Life series. I think it's High School. Whatever. Man, I love this series. Like, it really surprised me um, with how enjoyable it was. I was kind of shocked, to be honest. One of my favorite series from uh, 2019, for sure. Yeah, Shimeji Simulation. There you go. And this is <laughs> not from the same author, but it kind of continues on with like the post-apocalyptic theme. Where you have like this little, uh, kind of like tiny person traveling around in like the remnants of a post-apocalyptic setting with um, some cute little friends besides as companions. And this series is called Even If the World Is Over, It's Fun to Live. This is a pretty new manga. It started in like 2020. It's one of my favorite serializations from 2020. So, um... I wanted to get my hands on it, and in contrast, like, Girls S Tour is just very gray. It has a lot of these, like, really huge industrial, like, complex buildings. Like, these endlessly tall skyscrapers with a bunch of windows that are, like, symmetrical and, like, uh, pipes and, like, lines, and it's- ev everything is just super gray and black and white in this series. It's really kind of, like, drab and, like, lifeless. While in this series, um, it is post-apocalyptic and there is a lot of like the same type of stuff with like mega structures and like abandoned buildings and like lost technologies and whatever, but um, this one is, this one has a little bit more life going on in it, oddly enough, because we still have these like crazy monster creatures lurking around and there still is vegetation here and there, so uh, this world isn't quite as dead, and um, oh my god, I love this series. It's basically like a combo of Girls Last Tour and maybe like Hakume Tomikochi and even like Made in Abyss, and um, I really recommend this. If post-apocalyptic series in this style are like your type of thing, then um, yeah, give this a shot. And, oh, that was like an advertisement. Here it's like an overview of the slipcovers, because they just have these like nice big art pieces, 
I thought I should showcase. Volume 5 and Volume 6. And here's like what the volumes look like under the slipcovers. It's basically the same illustrations, but kind of more minimalistic and just, you know, grayish and dead. <laughs> like the series. I love the sketchy like art style. It's very appealing for me. Okay. And uh, this is where this journey comes to an end. So thanks for watching the video and uh, bye.